Simon here. Solomon's Tales number, God knows what it is. Ha, <laughs> forgotten. Solomon's in Krabi. He met Ning. Speaks good English, really attractive. It's got a Yamaha R1000cc motorbike. Modded, it's hers. By the way, she'd, uh, she'd had a, a chest enlargement at some point in her time. And she was only young as well. She must have been about 21. Looked about 21. They've just had a bit of a lunch. Well, they've just still eating a bit of lunch on a nice beach a few miles up the road. Been chatting for a bit. Solomon thinks, I'm in here. This is going to be a really interesting afternoon. Looking really good. She gets a phone call. And uh, she says to him, I've got to go. I've uh, got a foreign boyfriend that comes to see me now and then. He's at my bar waiting for me. Walks across the bike, picks the two plastic helmets up, throws a leg over the bike, flicks the kickstand, start, <laughs> gone. Solomon's at the cafe. She ain't eaten half her food. He's like, what? <laughs> ah, got away. The one that got away. A couple of years later, that lady, Ning, and Solomon bump into each other somewhere in the world. Here's another story. So, he finishes his food, pays the bill. He's about, I don't know, three, four miles away from his hotel. It's just after lunch now. Luckily, there's a one of these... Um, Tuk Tuk drivers there. There's not many in Krabi either. Sat over there. Lucky. Goes across. Guy charged him a couple of hundred baht, which is a bit over the top. But he had no choice. No other way. A long walk. Back to the hotel. And he's thinking, right, I've done Krabi. There's not much more here. This holiday was a hedonistic holiday. Get Thailand and my system he's thinking I've only got about nine days left if I stay for four weeks or a couple of days if I'm heading home have I got Thailand out of my system he thinks I'm just gonna pack up head to Bangkok I'll fly up Krabi Airport Bangkok um, and I'll make my mind up as I go so all the rest checks out takes the bike back gets a taxi up to the airport, hasn't even checked if there's airplane, air, um, any planes flying. Gets up to the airport about four, half four. Luckily for him, there's a couple of planes, so. And they've all got seats. He's got a couple of hour wait. Air Asia, was it? Possibly. Anyway, buys a ticket, it's not that expensive. About 1500 bar. Plane. Bangkok lands gets off the plane comes out of departures um, arrivals even then looks around there's a cafe on the next floor up goes up sits down at the cafe he's got his big case there is the crossroads potentially of his whole life moving forward he's got a big decision to make does he change his ticket to go home? And he could probably get on a flight that night. Um, or does he stay for another week? Checks money and things. He's still got a couple of thousand quid left. He's a couple of thousand pounds left. He's still okay for money. And he has to make that decision. Over coffee. Does he go? Does he stay? back to the UK, finish Thailand for good? Or does he do something else in Thailand? Or even another country? He can't get Hua Hin out of his head, that was great time. Bangkok, great time. Eden Club. He just, he just hasn't got it out of his system. He's like, there's something missing still. I'm missing something. So, 
He's been down south, Phuket, Krabi, Kwa Hin. Doesn't want to go up north because there's not much up there as far as bar scene goes. There's bits in Chiang Mai, Udon, Konken. The other side, he doesn't want to go down beaches again really to Ko Chang. Bit of action down there, Ko Samet. Yeah, only one place left, he's going to have to go back again. I think this will be his third visit. Pateo. He thinks, I'm just going to hit it for a week. I'm going to go back to Pateo. So it's about 7.38 in the evening. He thinks, there's no point in getting a hotel around here. Just get a cab, airport, Pateo, we're down there. 10, 11 at night. Get a hotel. He thinks, I know where I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay in Soy 8, Pateo. Don't know the hotel name. 50 meters from the beach up on the right. Whatever it's called, he's right. And he's on the different floor in the airport, um, <coughs> which is it departures possibly. And he walks out there through the doors. And there it was departure because there's cars dropping off, taxis, so he just waits till someone gets out of a taxi, leans in, asks. Yeah, it's about a thousand, about eight hundred, about something like that. 1200 or whatever, just get yeah, jumps in the cab, throws his case in the boot. This tax is gas, it's got a gas cylinder, so his case is big, but it's empty, just about fits in there. Taxi, potato, gets down there, it's all eight, walks in the hotel, and the hotel want about, because he's walking, they want about uh, 1100 baht a night, something like that, 1200 baht. Anyway, he's not first. The price of the hotel. It's lively. <laughs> he's right in the middle of this. It just starts in the evening there. You know, he's in Soy 8, it's about 11 at night, and hundreds of girls everywhere. And he's like, okay, this is Sin City for him. Been a couple of times before. He knows the score, roughly knows his way around. Checks in, dumps his case. There's a safe there, throws everything in the safe, puts about 5,000 baht in his pocket. Time to go out. And he walks out the front door and he's in Soy 8. Immediately in front of him was a bit of an L shaped complex um, with a few bars inside and the beach just down to his left. And he thinks, right, I'm not going to go far, I'll just stay in Soy 8 looks up the road and there's a lot of bars all crammed together, girls in the road shouting at foreigners. He thinks, ah, oh, this is the life. He thinks, I'm hungry, but I want a beer. So he literally just walks across the road, two or three metres, and there's the bar there. There's, there's uh, some music on. Around the corner you can hear the music. There's a live band or something towards the front by Beach Road. He walks in and he sort of picks a middle bar. And at every bar there, there's eight or oh, six, eight, ten girls, loads of girls everywhere. So he sort of picks the middle of that little complex. Orders a drink, there's girls all over him, and it's just in that little complex, there's 50 or 60 girls, and he's like, wow, what a difference from Krabby. It's just everywhere. He's in heaven. And he starts to think to himself, well, the girl with the motorbike, Ning, is in his head and he thinks, oh, that would have been possibly amazing. So now he's got the picture of her in his head. Slim, large, heavy built top. And he thinks, right, I want a girl that looks like that. <laughs> yeah, he's got the beers. Looking around that complex and that, and that, that doesn't spot a girl similar. And he thinks, I'll walk up. Soy 8 to the top, cross over the road, there's some food up there somewhere I seem to remember. Some sort of uh, dining place on the other side of Second Road. So he wanders up and he's getting attacked by all the girls walking up to Soy 8. He's like, gotta get some food, gotta get some food. And he manages to get up there, cross the Second Road, which is a bit treacherous. It's like running the gauntlet. Gets across, um, just a few hundred metres long, there's a, a sort of an open restaurant, American style 
with Thai food and everything. He sits in there, facing the road, a bit of smog, <laughs> to mix in with your food. Grab some food. I think he had a steak actually. He, uh, yeah, steak and chips. Not quite the same steak as back in the UK, but it was still nice. It was a couple of hundred bars, it was good value. He sat there, as you do, people watching, watching the world go by. And the song tells, like, flying past, the, the pickup trucks with the seats on the back for everyone. The back buses, they're flying past, hundreds of them. Girls and foreigners hanging off the back of them, and it's just, what a difference from Krabby. So, so busy. Hey, it's right. Food done, getting late. Bit energetic. And he thinks, I'm going to stay on second road. And he just walks up second road, crosses back over the road, so he's on the beach side of second road. And uh, a little bit of a walk up. And uh, actually went about a quarter of a mile. He just kept walking. And it was a central road, I think he crossed over, kept going, went past the end of um, would be Soy 6. Soy four, and then there's some bars on the left, up a couple of steps. Atlantic bar. Yeah, there's a garage next to it. Soy four, a garage, and then these row of bars. And the first one, Atlantic bar. Not been there before, I don't think. The girls in there were different. They had dresses on. Well, they were smart. They were all. They looked different. Quite a big bar. Pool table. A couple of pool tables. Next door was a couple more bars. Yeah, and these girls, really nice looking. And he spots one. Nice dress, similar build to Ning, and he thinks, ah, there we go. He walks across, says, a game of pool. She seemed quite nice. Gets a drink, gets her a drink, plays a couple of games of pool. Very nice. He says to her, short time. She said 2,000 baht, and he's like, oh, that's a bit expensive, but he thinks, well, what the hell? A week left, time. He says, okay, let's go, pay bar, pay the bin. Now he's back, so he ate a long walk back again, he's like, nah, just out they go. Bar bus, which goes up a little bit further than, I think it's Dolphin Roundabout. Slings are left down to the beach, a long beach road, and they jump off it by Soy 8 into the hotel. Reasonably good night, reasonably good night. Um, well, a couple of hours anyway. Um, yeah, got rid of his energy, said goodbye, paid the girl, crashed. So, he should have been on a plane back to the UK, surely. But no, he decided to potato for a week. He's got seven days left. And that'll be the end of his four weeks. He's got to get back after that because he's got commitments. So it is, it's going to be a week, no more. Hmm. So let's, I don't know, let, let's call it, let's say that was the Sunday and he's got a week left. Is there any hedonistic places in Patea for him to try? Is there anything he hasn't tried on this trip that he needs to try? Mm. Don't know, he's gonna have to have a think about that one. Good night's sleep. Morning wakes up. There's no breakfast with this hotel. So he's gotta get some breakfast. I saw something, Soy 7, somewhere in the middle there, there was something. Um, so walks around the corner, so we said there's a cafe, restaurant on the left, down towards the beach. Um, in close, sort of little cafe. Wanders in there, breakfast. And they do a bit of an English breakfast, so there he goes. Now he's got to plan the week. What shall he do? Hmm. We'll leave him there. He's just had a reasonable little night in potato. Got a week ahead of him. What do you think he's going to get up to? Where's he going to go? What's he going to find? 
catch you on the next one. Bye for now.